What's going on turd nerds? Matt with Operator Mindset here and in today's video we're going to be going over a great free resource that anybody preparing for any exam should be putting in their toolbox and utilizing to not only gain knowledge but to gain some really fundamental test taking experience. I've been using this resource ever since I've been in this industry. I've used it to study for almost all of my exams and the name of the website is roy.ceu they do not sponsor this video this is a not a sponsored video by them in any way this is me showing them some love as an operator thank y'all so much for this resource that's totally free by the way as an operator i believe you should be using this to help you study for your exam for several different reasons number one the material that's on there always good right to be constantly going through the motions make sure you're hearing the material make sure you're becoming more familiar and more familiar number two probably most important to me is the way the questions are worded if you haven't sat for an exam yet you'll soon find out but if you have and if you're going for that two or that one you already know some of these questions can come off a little bit tricky right you can get lost in the weeds so really narrowing down what's this question asking me okay and then thirdly the way the answers are presented when you're going in your exam there's four there's it's multiple choice but there's going to be a couple that you're like man it could be either one of those so really making sure you can hone in you can focus down what's the question really asking and what answer best suits that question that's what you need to be able to do when you're taking this exam and i believe this website really helps you do it it's a great free resource check them out roy.ceu.com let's head over to the desktop and see what it's all about all right everybody so here we are on the desktop and we're just opening google right here you can do any search engine you want to but we're going to type in roy c e u First thing that's going to come up, Roy CU, Roy Wastewater, either one of those is going to work. It's in purple. I've been here before. Uh, we're not going to show you everything this thing has to offer, guys, but they do have continuing education. I've personally never done that. I've only ever used this resource as study material. So they have all your states listed right here. We are in Georgia, so I'm going to click it. Here is all the courses they offer for continuing education available throughout Georgia and whatever state you're in I'm sure this applies we're gonna go right up here to practice quizzes test your knowledge so all of these again are totally free and also again RoyCEU.com they do not sponsor this video they are not a sponsor of us I just really want to give them a shout out tell them thank you so much for uh, for this amazing um, study material that they have on here and it really is like it's one of the better ones I've ever seen so I've used it repeatedly throughout all my certifications and testing and just you get on here you can run through an exam super quick so um, here they are you can they have a variety of that wastewater study guide module one that's hundred seventy five questions okay and we're gonna go to this one chloramines they got 32 questions so it's countless how many times you can run through these basic math there's 70 questions on this one okay there is no time limit now there is a time limit on your exam but for these and this specific study material there's not so just wanted to familiarize you guys with this we're going to run through one real quick microbiology that's what i like to nerd out on so we're going to run through a few of them and they got a few of them on here that are really good and I just want to talk about that and tell you why I think it's such a good resource for you to be utilizing. So first question we got here, which growth phase typically produces the highest degree of cannibalism among microorganisms? Great question. Can't say, I'm not really sure if I've seen this on exam or not, but probably one similar to it. This is going to require you to know what those growth rates are and know what the bugs are doing in each phase of that growth right so this answer right here uh, just looking at our answers is going to be endogenous res respiration because that's what's associated with the cannibalism so when i click this answer boom correct this is right the growth curve of old sludge so that's another great thing i love it's immediate feedback as soon as you click your answer right or wrong it's going to tell you right or wrong correct and then it's going to give you a brief little summary of why it's correct Moving on to the next one, 
Electron microscopes are commonly used to observe living organisms. That is not true. That is false. Uh, we use phase contrast microscopes, but just for the sake of the website, let's click true and just see what happens when we click true. Incorrect, choose again for your feedback. Now, if we had four questions, I get a little confusing, right? It's gonna keep track of our score here. All you gotta do is then click false, and then it tells you what electron microscopes are used for. So, again, that immediate feedback I think is great. For those of you that are studying, it helps you, it helps you retain it and then remember what's going on as you go. So we're gonna go through a few more of these. There's one question specifically I really wanna show you guys because it's just, it's, it's, it really hits home on some familiar things you're gonna see on your exam as in the way the answers are and the way the question is worded. So when we get to that, I'll bring you back up and we'll go through them there. This is a great one. So this is a great question. We're seven out of 10 in. Which microorganisms are most responsible for the stabilization of the organic material? So this is a question. They're gonna pull on your bug knowledge here for activated sludge. And when you see that, what's responsible for stabilization? Well, what are you constantly always hearing, right? Stalk ciliates, stalk ciliates, those are the best ones, which is true. Rotifers and worms, if you know anything about them, you know those are older sludge, right? So bacteria, they're all bacteria, right? So immediately your mind might jump on stalk ciliates, but that's where it's a little tricky. You should know that an activated sludge what is constantly um, actually consuming the BOD and doing all the work is bacteria as a whole. These guys up here, those are indicator organisms. So those are things we can see under the microscope. They give us an indication of things are going good, but the answer is actually gonna be bacteria. And this is one way where it could get a little tricky if you're too quick to click, right? So let's do a bacteria. And they're gonna tell you exactly what I told you. They are indicator organisms. So that's good. On to the next question. Here we go. This, number 10 guys, this is a question I really want you to pay attention to. The way the answers are given, it is a great, um, one of the great reasons why this website is, I think, so phenomenal. It actually gives you the answers in a way that I know I've seen them similar to that on an exam. So close that if you're not 100% sure what the question's asking you, you could very easily click the wrong one. So, which conditions will typically allow filamentous bacteria to grow and become dominant in the activated sludge process? So, this requires you to know a little bit about filamentous. What, how do filamentous, what do they love, right? They love low DO, they, low, they love low F to M. Um, we're talking about activated sludge, obviously. So, you gotta know what DO is, right? Dissolved oxygen, does filamentous like it low or high? I just said low, so boom, first answer right here is low DO, but then it has a high F to M, right? And when you think F to M, the way I remember it is, when I see the term F to M, because I can get them confused sometimes even, I always think food first, then microorganisms. So if I say high F to M, that means there's a lot of food and there's low microorganisms. But if I say low F to M, that means it's low food and a lot of microorganisms. So always thinking about it like that, I always think when I see F to M, think about the food first. What's happening to that food to microorganism ratio? Especially in some of these questions, it can get tricky. So we know filamentous love low DO, and they also are gonna want a low F to M. So that means low food, high in microorganisms, right? When the food is low, the microorganisms, they're struggling, they're not as active. It really creates a breeding ground where that filamentous can then take over and consume a system. So you see how close these guys are as far as the answers. And if you get one of those wrong, but you got the other one right, you're still wrong in the answer. So you need both of them. The way this is worded, the way it's laid out is so familiar. And you really, the, the reason this website is so great becoming acclimated to seeing how they're laid out and the way it's asked and answered is really gonna help you, especially if this is your first time taking an exam. So we're gonna click low DO, correct. Well, we scored a 90. Again, there's no time limit. Uh, Could have got 100, but you know I answered that one wrong just for you guys. If you wanna show all questions, you didn't have to do it that way. You could go through it like this. It shows you what I guessed wrong, what I guessed right. Um, again, guys, Roy CEU, 
not a sponsor, but just a great free resource out there online for anybody studying, trying to get that class three certification, or even your twos and your ones. I can't tell you how many times I had some free time come in here, ran through one of these modules, right? Just to familiarize myself and get the, get the blood flowing up there for the wastewater. Um, so many things if you know that you struggle with the troubleshooting or you know that you struggle with the microbiology or basic concepts you can run through all these guys it's limitless there's no you know you don't have to log in you just get on here and go so thank you Roy CEU for this great free resource and guys if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more tips regarding your test taking abilities regarding your exam prep all of that stuff, operator mindset. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you out there. Turn it out.